Alright guys, welcome to the Middle Age Gamers YouTube videos. If you haven't already seen them, uh, get ready to enjoy lots of blissful silence and trains moving. Anyways, we're playing Train Simulator 2015, like always, trying to get some more YouTube videos out there. I'm gonna do a career so I can get some points, obviously. I'm, uh, I'm a sucker for those career points. And let's see what I want to do. I want to go ahead and do what I was trying to do on the live stream last night which is the Excel Express to Washington, of course using the Antrac Excel Express on the New York to New Haven routes, Autumn Overcast 1757 and it says you start the scenario from just outside Stanford, you'll be picking up passengers in Stanford before continuing southbound for a second pickup at New York Penn Station. So if you're watching the live stream last night which went pretty good, uh, basically uh, it crashed I think about 40 minutes into it, I was doing a thousand of a thousand points as far as I know. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this scenario loaded up real quick, and we'll go from there. There we go. Got the scenario loaded up. Looks so like it's going to start us out as moving. Next stop is Stanford. Pick up passengers here and continue to New York Penn Station. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and speed up since we can get up to 50. And let me get our headlights on real fast. So we got to stop at Stanford right up here. Again, just keep in mind this train does break really well. Let's try 40%. Don't want to overshoot the uh, platform. to the end as well. There we go. Let's go ahead and pick up passengers right there. So we're at Stanford and it looks like we're going all the way to Penn Station in New York City. Pretty good detail modeling if you can see that. See the open doors there. Trains going out, trains coming in, which is good. Almost done loading the passengers there. And if you guys haven't already, please, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on twitch.tv slash the middle age gamer. I did a stream last night doing this particular route and the game crashed about 40 minutes into it. So we'll see what happens here in a second. So I can do a train by. There we go. Beautiful looking train in my opinion. Brewery was saying it looks like someone did modern art on the side, just different shapes and stuff. Which is pretty true if you look at it. Doesn't really make any sense as far as the design goes, but it looks really, really nice. And we get up to 70 right here. Let's go ahead and get our speed up. Again, it accelerates and decelerates really, really fast. So just keep an eye on the uh, speed so you don't go over. It's going to get back in cab for a while. There we go. And you do have the option to use cruise control if you want to. I'm not going to use it. Um, I already know that this goes from 70 to 50 quite a bit, or 70 to 50 to 60, something like that. So 
no need for cruise control. You'd be stopping and starting quite a bit, or at least braking a little bit. All right, so we're working our way to Pike Main platform. Just about uh, seven and three quarters of a mile to go. Yeah, we had about 25 viewers on the stream last night, which is pretty damn good considering I haven't really streamed in three months. Hoping to keep that up every Saturday. And uh, we did cut the stream short a little bit. We only played for a couple hours last night. But uh, both me and Bree Bree were pretty damn tired after the uh, soccer game. Let's go ahead and start breaking here. up to 70 here shortly. It's going to get a pretty wide shot. There you go. Pretty gorgeous scenery in my opinion. As you can see, we're on the inside line, which is the actual fast line. We're not stopping at every station. So it's basically an express service from Stanford to Penn Station. Let's go ahead and get back up to 70. Again, looking at the train as a whole. Pretty gorgeous. back inside for a little bit. I got a couple suggestions on YouTube to do a steam locomotive, so I'm hoping to do that next. We'll see what happens. If you guys know, I'm not a big fan of the uh, steam locomotives myself, but I'll try to give you guys what you want out there. I also need to do some diesel locomotives fairly soon. I've been kind of slacking on that. Going back down to 50 here. And then straight back up to 70. Again, that's the only reason I'm not using cruise control right now. And just under five miles to go to Pike Bain. Again, this entire route has some uh, beautiful scenery throughout. As you get towards uh, New York City too, there's quite a bit more buildings on both sides. Alright, straight back up to 70. the highway to the left of us right there. Getting lots of detail and crane off in the distance, bunch of buildings. Alright, so not very tricky, but get down to 50 then 45 coming up, as you can see on the graph below. just in case. That way I'm not breaking twice. There we go. 
go. Just under three miles to go. And my ETA is fairly good. We're um, about 34 seconds ahead of the timetable, and hopefully we get better and better slowly. So we're going to be passing a train coming up. CSX, pulling some cargo right there. Fairly long train as well. Still going. There's the end. And I'll be going back up to 70 and back down to 50 here in a second. Again, you could just cruise at 50 if you wanted to. I'm going to speed up just a bit and then slow down just to get a little bit extra time. Let's go ahead and do a couple train buys real fast while we got some time. Just under 1. Point, was that 15 miles? We're passing by Pike, Maine. Wish we were going a bit faster, but nothing I can do about that. Pike Main right here, just going under the uh, bridge right there. Or maybe that wasn't Pike Main, looks like Pike Main's still coming up. time. Now we're going to be going via New Rochelle in just about six miles or so. Alright, finally gets the speed back up to 70, then 80 coming up. It's a nice uh, change right there. Back up to 70. Also, last night we were playing the uh, Evil Within game, which is a pretty sadistic game from what I found out so far. Not really that scary as of yet, but I'm, uh, I'm 
I'm hoping it gets there. It's not exactly like Outlast. Outlast still scares the crap out of me if I play it. I like how this is not just a long straight track. There's a bunch of bends left and right. It's pretty nice better than the long straight lines that are like in the southwest on some of those diesel tracks. Alright, 80 miles an hour. stop me as opposed to doing the cruise control. I'll try to go as fast as possible obviously. Anyways if you guys are watching um, just let me know if you guys want to see any specific routes or uh, scenario. I'll definitely try to play them thinking about doing something slightly different, I want to do a passenger view only on the uh, London to Faversham route. And it's basically what you would see if you were going to get on and board as a passenger. So I think it would be kind of different to do on YouTube. Maybe even speed up the video so it's only about 5-10 minutes long so you can see the entire route back and forth. We'll see. Lots of ideas, but you know, actions speak louder than words there by nose. Gotta put my uh my plan to paper and actually do it at some point. And we're just over a minute ahead of schedule right now, so we're actually making pretty good time. Task list real quick. So I still got about 21 miles total to Penn Station, not too far. Especially if we have more 80 mile per hour sections, like I'm hoping we do have. It feels like we're going to be slowing down to about 50 again up coming up. get under 70 right here and then we gotta get down to 50 and 45 probably just run at 45 through all the next points let's go ahead and get it down to 45 here Still on time, got 600 of a thousand points right now. As you know, we're going for the thousand of a thousand. I think I may actually end up live streaming after this. Nice Sunday day outside, pretty easy going. Nice, we're going by Hellgate Line, Main 1. I would love to board at a place called Hellgate. That's awesome. So our next task is go via Pelham Bay. Uh, just about four and a half miles to go. 
and we're getting up to 100 here, so hopefully we'll take off those miles fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and look on the outside, do a couple train buys again. I'm going fairly slow so you can actually see a lot of the detailing, shadows and everything else. Really, really nice. to 100 here in a second. There we go. Let's go ahead and get up to 100. Let's zoom in on the uh, locomotive here for a minute. Get some up close detailing. Let's see the new modern graphics right there. Train is shaking a little bit left to right, as to be expected. We are hauling ass right now, which is good. Shaving the miles off. So I keep it in the 99 range because you can't see the decimal point once you get to 100 just goes 100, 101, 102. If you hit 101 obviously you're speeding so you want to avoid that at all costs. And unfortunately we have to get down to 45 already. I'm going to get back in the cab so I don't mess this up. And we're almost three minutes ahead of schedule which is really nice. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time to break here. Technically, I was cutting it a little bit close, but I could always break more than 40% if I wanted to. There we go. Under 45. Feels like we're just moving like a snail compared to the 100 miles an hour we were at. Go. This is about where the game locked up, or pretty close to here. It's where it locked up on the live stream. Hopefully, it doesn't do it again. Just a mile to go to Pelham Bay, and then I believe the final task is Penn Station. Definitely locked up somewhere right around here. Keeping my fingers crossed. Please don't lock up. Be good to me. Need to put this up on YouTube. Okay, we'll get up to about 60 right here. cargo train right there. 800 for 800 right now. And just under 15 miles to go to Penn Station.
do a couple more train buys so you guys aren't looking inside the cab the entire time. And we'll go ahead and get up to 70 miles per hour. Really, really nice detailing throughout. I could pretty much do this all day. As boring as it may be for some people. I do train buys every day, all day, 300. And you can see Active Sky, that's one of the upgrades on Train Simulator 2015. You can see the clouds, it looks a little bit nicer. I think I was mentioning last night the Farming Simulator Sky still looks a little better on this Farming Sim 2015 if you've played that or not. I was going to get back into the cab here. 12 and 3 quarters of a mile to go. I have to slow down again to 55 coming up. Sped right there, unfortunately. Got four points off. Did that last uh, video too. That's 100% my fault. Anyways, we're going to keep proceeding forward. And that's the risk you take, just go and the exact speed limit when you can. Also, if you guys didn't know, I know this is all my second video, it's going up on YouTube. I have moved locations and now downtown San Antonio as opposed to where I'm living. So, doing pretty good has its ups and downs, but I live right on the river walk, so a lot of restaurants and bars and things like that around me. It's pretty cool. Alright, get up to 60 right here. through lots of bridges. It's almost like a big drainage area right here. Almost looks like there's lightning in the sky too. I keep seeing little flashes. I'm not sure if that's the line or what. Alright, about 10 miles to go in the Penn Station. Lots of CSX trains over to the left of us. Assuming that's probably the cargo yard outside of New York. It says we're about nine minutes ahead of schedule. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Hopefully, we're not stopping coming up. You never know, though. I'm assuming it's going to be fairly slow heading into New York here. So I'm going uphill. Got to get down to 50 miles per hour here in a minute. Let's take a quick look outside. Yeah, definitely heading downhill. You can see lots of more detail come out. I think that's New York off in the distance. And we 
gonna go ahead and get down. This is quite a bridge, quite an incline too. A little bit over one percent. Go ahead and slow down the 50 here. We basically just need to let off the throttle since it's such an incline. That's quite a bridge. Pretty insane. Lots of scenery loading up. Again, still on this gigantic bridge headed to New York. Jeez, look how high we are. Insane. I don't remember this uh, bridge on the route. Maybe I was playing it at night or something, though. That is insane. Wow. Get back in cab, make sure I don't mess anything up. Still about 10 minutes ahead of schedule, so there's no real rush getting to the station. About seven miles to go here. I think we're going to start declining, from what I can see. Lots of buildings to the left and right. The city out there is pretty insane. It's supposed to take quite a while for the uh, de development team to actually make everything. There's a lot of stuff to do. A lot of rendering, a lot of scenery. And yeah, going on a decline, looks like about 0.7, almost 1%. Just want to watch your speed coming up here. Basically, I just want to keep it under 50. Avoid speeding coming up. Wow. Still pretty insane. So, I guess it's what, about 6.30 at night or 6.30 in the morning? I'm assuming it's at night. Looks like it's starting to get slightly darker outside. back into the city here. This would be a pretty cool route to actually drive in real life in my opinion. Just under five miles to go. Have 
have not had any errors, thank God, as far as the computer crash, and I have sped just a bit. And this looks like it could be a fairly big downhill piece. Let's get it under 45 for this one area coming up. I still have a beast of a computer. You can see, you can see like the scenery loading up in the background. Just slightly hesitates my uh, my memory on board right now. Which, if you didn't have a, a really really good computer, I'd, I would hate to get to this area of town and have everything load up on you. Probably be insanely slow. That's right, just about four miles to go. Still going downhill, so make sure to watch your speed. Don't be speeding up. I know it looks fairly straight, but it's almost almost a um, degree decline right here. Definitely getting into the city right now. Lagging up my computer slightly. It says we can go 60 right here. All right, let's go ahead and speed up, I guess. Should be hitting a pretty big tunnel fairly soon. I'm not getting close to 60, I'm just afraid of hitting these declines and uh, going over speed here. speed going up right here. Let's go ahead and break to 20 just to keep that in check. Alright, here's the start of the tunnel right here. So we head into Penn Station. I would love to do this part of the journey too. Pretty insane. Again, watch the speed. It's going to leave the brakes on. And here's the biggest part of the decline coming up. You can see the speed rising even on 20% braking right there. Break just a bit harder, just in case. Almost a 2% decline, which is pretty insane. Feels like you're doing warp drive here in the tunnel, too, because of the lights on the side. It's almost a trip, like an optical illusion. about 11 minutes ahead of schedule and only about a mile and a half to go in the Penn Station. You gotta get down to 30 and 15 as you can see right there. Just gonna let it coast for a second. Instead of braking, I think it would be a little bit more comfortable for the passengers, I'm assuming. And again, pretty damn long tunnel if I do say so myself. 
I lost uh, four points on speeding. Hopefully I get it back by arriving 10 minutes early. I feel like that deserves four points back. We'll see what happens though. I guess it doesn't really matter either way at this point. Alright, so just cruising. We almost got it down to 30 miles per hour by itself. Let's go ahead and start braking because we got to get down to 15, so... Don't want to be braking at the last second. Right, finally at Penn Station. Didn't do too bad. We'll make sure to get under 15 here. There we go. Assuming we're going to be switching to the right up here, based off the lights. There we go. No one's walking on the tracks, thank God, I don't have to kill anybody today like my last video just gonna let it coast in here again about 11 minutes, 10 to 11 minutes ahead of schedule which is good possible since more than likely we'll be turning around for the rest of the journey there we go go ahead and let the passengers off and on And New York definitely lags up my computer just a bit, but that's fine. Hopefully I don't have to wait here 10 minutes. That would be absolutely insane. Jesus! Oh, man! I feel like you need to do yoga before you start Train Simulator. Anyways, made it to this point. Let me know in the comments below. Say what's up, T-Mag. Made it to this point. So I know you guys watched it. You know, I like... Uh, all the comments. I'll try to write back to everybody as well. I know I've been slacking on that in the past two, three months, but I'm back at it. Should be replying to every single comment, even though I got close to 4,000 subscribers now. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so below. And then also follow me on the twitch.tv slash the middle aged gamer. Hang out with me while we're uh, playing with the various people in various games. Usually it's Train Simulator, a horror game, and then a uh, farming sim or something similar to that. There we go. I didn't get my four points. That's fine. Time for a small break. We'll continue to Washington, D.C. at 1,900 hours. So about a 30-minute break or so. 20, 30 minutes. There it is. 996 XP gained. Got the gold star on this. And again, four points for uh, speeding, not a big deal. Anyways, thanks for watching Middle Age Gamer. We'll go ahead and get this uploaded and start live streaming. Appreciate it.